care to find out what we're doing. Uh, there's nine girls left in the house, and my heart's invested. I'm really trying to step it up. At this stage of the game, if I don't make headway now, it could be too late. Morning, ladies. Can I get everyone in the living room, please? It's time for your no. Welcome to another fun-filled day. <laughs> oh, I hate that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a note from Brad. Go ahead and read it, and I'll see you guys in just a second. OK. All right, thanks. Bye. I really don't want to read this. <laughs> oh, God, I'm Good morning, my divine nine. Some of you are sweet, and some of you are flirty. But what I really want is a girl who can get dirty. So grab your gear, get ready to play tough, because today is going to be rough. Love, Brad. Let's go. I have no problem with getting dirty. I'm a Montana girl, and I've been getting dirty my whole life. Each of you have a little pile of gear. Grab the pile of gear that has your name on it, and we will see you in just a little bit. We see a sports bra and tennis shoes and, you know, cute little outfit. It's got to be <laughs> football, you guys. Huh? This isn't no, football gear. Why, why would you wear these cute little outfits in football? We need some, like, shoulder pads and a helmet and, like, a grill guard because, like, no. <laughs> played football before, and I'm like, oh shit, I don't want to get my ass kicked. Everyone pumped up today for Brett's Mud Bowl 2? Yeah. Awesome. All right, we're going to divide you into two teams, sweethearts, fallen angels. The team that wins gets to go on a date. The MVP of that team gets to go on a solo date, which is going to happen tonight, and it is going to be awesome. Yeah. I have chosen two team captains, Catherine, you're going to be captain of the Sweethearts. And Destiny, Woo! you will be captain of the Fallen Angels, all right? I'm going to do whatever I can to win this competition today. Because along with Jessica, I'm the only one that hasn't had a date with him. Each of my team captains is going to pick their teams. However, it is the Divine Nine. You're going to get two teams of four. One of you is going to be left out. The girl that's going to be left out has no chance of going on a date with me. Ina and Peyton were my top picks because I know they're the biggest and I know Ina will like break somebody in half. I, Brett Michaels, I'm gonna be quarterbacking for both teams and I will love all of you equally. Ladies, you know that I'm from Pittsburgh where we enjoyed all four seasons. Football was traditionally played in harsh weather conditions. So today, ladies, I am a god. Big John, give me rain. <laughs> Big John, let there be snow. I'm soaking wet and I'm freezing my ass off. And most of all, John, let there be wind. <laughs> if I'm gonna go through all this crap, I better win a freaking date. So I need my two team captains to step forward. I just wanna tell you as you're coming up here, choose wisely, pick the most frustrated. They will play the toughest. <laughs> we'll take a look at this coin. You got sweethearts on one side and fallen angels on the opposite. This will determine who picks first. Fallen angels it is, ladies. Destiny, your choice. Ina, love you, baby. I pick Ina. I think she could knock some bitches down. Catherine? Peyton. My mission is to tackle like hell, run like hell, and to get our date with Brad. Destiny? Come on, Christy Jo. Woo! Uh -oh. Amber. Oh, boy. I love football. This is my game. I'm going to win this. It's mine. Daisy, come here, baby. Destiny picks Daisy. <laughs> And she's like four feet tall. And I'm like, shit. I just want to say again, ladies, just remember, the one you do not pick gets no chance of a date. It comes down to me and Megan. And I'm thinking, please pick me. I'll clean your room. I'll do whatever. I'm only asking for a shot. I need this damn date. Catherine. Oh. Jess, come on down, baby. Oh, my God. I am bummed that I don't get a chance to win a date with him. But it's a beautiful day. I don't want to spend it in the mud and rain. I want to go tan. Go get your clothes. Let's play Mud Bowl too. I want to see strategy. I want to see athleticism. I want to see skills. Game on, girls. Show me what you got. I run. I can't even run. Ina, Christy Joe, and Daisy. We are the Fallen Angels. Woo! Has anybody played football on our team? I have with my sons. My team is Jessica, Peyton, Amber, and myself. 
people on my team need to want it and be as hungry for this win as I am. All right, ladies, the Fallen Angels got the pick. You get the kick, all right? You ready to kick each other's asses? <laughs> Dawn, let there be rain. Here we go. Brett's Mud Bowl 2. Woo! Go, girls, go. Go, go. Woo! Get her ass. Get her. Knock her down. Oh. And this game is underway, and it is insane. Sweethearts, are we ready? All right. I feel ready. I had no fear. Brett's going to be our quarterback, and I hope I impress him with my receiver skills. Hot one, hot two. Amber. Go get him! <laughs> Touchdown, sweetheart! Okay. Amber is balls of the walls. She dove, and we got a touchdown. We're stoked. Why now, girls? Step out a little bit, just a little wider. Sit! Hey, go! Long, long, long! I didn't realize how hard it was going to be until I stepped onto that field and I was slipping all over the place. I do not feel sexy. Nina, go, go, go. Oh. I am getting a little frustrated with our team, especially Hina. I want to fucking kill her. Go, Hina, go in, run! Illegal forward pass. Hina, you can't do that. Ah, Hina, my Ukrainian love bus is having a little trouble grasping the concept of American football. Are we ready? Yeah. Set. I am a little bit worried because they're ahead of us, but I'm going to do whatever it takes to win. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Brett gives me the ball. I take off running down the field. I'm on a mission to get a touchdown. Sweethearts. Amber is smoking hot in this game. Two touchdowns in a row, total turn on. Good job, dude. Watching all the other girls playing football is actually entertaining. They had mud in their teeth, they had their eyelashes hanging off. It was ridiculous. Amber scored two freaking touchdowns for the stupid hearts. And she's the only one that's standing in her way. The other girls, like, they don't even know what a football is. They're like, what? This is it, baby. This is it. Hey! Go, baby, go! Run, 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 run! Here we go, forward pass. What are you doing, baby? If we lose this game, that means I don't get a date and I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Sit! Hey, go! Long, long, long! Oh! Half time, lady. Half time, come on. Looks like the Fallen Angels better step it up if they want some dates. It is two to nothing, sweethearts, ladies. Time for the second half. Woo! Here's how the second half rolls. Sweethearts, you will be kicking off to the Fallen Angels. Are you ready? Yeah! Take, your, take your end zone. Here we are, right to half. Sweethearts, two. Fallen Angels, nothing. Fallen Angels better step it up if they want some dates. Come on, we can do this. Don't give up. I'm serious, dude. We're gonna fucking kill them. The score is 2-0, but I just tried to keep positive about it and try to keep everyone's head in the game because we're gonna win this. There's no way smelly pink hearts are gonna win over the cute fallen angels. Here we go. If we don't score even a touchdown, we're screwed because Brett wants a girl that's gonna, you know, win it for him. So we have to win this. Good one. Oh, my goodness gracious. Hike. <laughs> Touchdown, two to one, Angels. Okay. Second half starts, and there's my girl, Christy Joe. Touchdown, Fallen Angels. Sweethearts, two. Fallen Angels, one. Could there be a comeback? <laughs> make the touchdown for the team. Yes, me. I wanted Brett to see that, too, so I wanted him to know, you know, I can get down and dirty. Sweetheart's ball. Guys, like, pretty much Amber's got to run. Somebody's got to get the ball or something. Amber scored two freaking touchdowns, and she's the only one that's standing in her way. We need to stop Amber. A two. 
Go, Jessica, go! Go, go! Go, go, get it! Get That's it! A fumble. Get it. Oh, shoot! Oh, no, it's a fumble! All of a sudden, Jessica gets the ball, and out of nowhere, she fumbled. Oh, I was so mad at her. Fallen Angels have the ball. Hey! Daisy! <laughs> I freaking have to win this game. If I get hurt, I don't care, because I know Brett will attend to my wounds later. Hey, go! Run, 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 run! Whoa! <laughs> Daisy, you're a fucking monster. Like a hammer. Daisy is on fire. This girl's going after every girl, tackling, catching, pushing, killing. The girl that is bringing it hard and heavy is the girl I least expected. Daisy has gone she wild. Two minutes left, ladies. Two minutes left. We're two to one right now. And all we need is to tie this game. I don't care what it takes. I don't care who's in my way. We're going to tie this game up. Hey, go! Go! Run! <laughs> Each play happens, and they're getting closer to the end zone, and I'm getting worried. We have one mission right now, and that is to stop the black team from scoring. <laughs> one minute left, ladies. One minute left. Third and goal, set. Hey, go. Oh, 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 baby. Oh. Complete pass. When I was watching the two teams, I mean, they were literally beating on each other to get ahead. It was almost like Amber and Daisy were just going locking horns head to head. I felt a sweet competition going on. Fourth and goal. There's time for one play. You got one play. We're in trouble. My team needs to step it up and get another touchdown to even the score. Don't get in the end zone and get open. Don't bunch together. Stay fucking wide yeah. apart. We are going to freaking lose. We have to do something fast. We have to win a touchdown. Hey! Oh, go! Go, go! I got the ball and we nailed it. <laughs> we caught up. Let's do it. <laughs> here we go, ladies. What we have here is called sudden death. All right. Obvious overtime. It's tied two to two. In sudden death, the first team to score wins the game. Okay. Hi oh! Play until one team scores. All right. Two to two, ladies. Okay, we're gonna fucking do this, you guys. Let's do this. Here we are, two to two. We're going into overtime. We want to find out who really wants this date. Yeah. Amber, come right behind me and hand it off. Yeah. If they're jacked on you, I will not give it to you. Amber, furthest out. Way out, way out. My back hurts. My knees are torn up. This is really tough. But we're tied. So now it's sudden death. There's nothing I want more right now than to score a touchdown for Brett. We got you. I have mud in my eye. I can't see. I'm freezing. But you know what? I'm not giving up. I'm not going to give up. I want to win this date, and I will. Ready? Set. Down. Hut. Oh, go, go. Oh. 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 Are you ready? Set! Here it is. It's two to two. Down! Hut! We're in sudden death. It's overtime. The winds are blowing, the snow. It's Amber. She's got the ball. She's dashing to the end zone. Oh! Ah! That's a fumble! Oh. 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 There's a fumble. All of a sudden, I notice Daisy's picked up the ball and she's headed the other direction. Go, run, 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 run! Run, 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 run! Get out of my way, skanks! Daisy's coming through. <laughs> Touchdown, Angel! All the Angels have won the game. That was the sweetest moment ever. I was like, 
I just scored a touchdown and we win it. <laughs> That's not fun. Yeah. Oh. I can't believe we lost. I want to die. I'm freezing, I'm cold, I'm upset, I'm freaking out. That's a painkiller? Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. All right. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, game's over, we lost, and now I'm starting to feel the pain. I'm looking down and I see I have some injuries. This year's mud ball completely blew away last year. How about a hand for our winners over here, the Woo! Fallen Angels? Here, I present to the team the Fallen Angels, the winners of this year's Mud Bowl. Here you go, your trophy. Hold it. Now, I have to determine an MVP, and I've got to say, for this year's Fallen Angels, I've got to give it to Daisy, who threw down some hard punches, kicks. For our MVP, please welcome Daisy. I earned this day. I wanted to win. I felt really awesome that I was the MVP, so. How about a big round of applause, everyone, for Daisy putting on? I thought it was absolutely killer. These girls rock each other's world. Hello, beautiful girl. Going into the date, I'm a little nervous because this is like first real night out in town with Brett. And I don't want him to like not like me. I want him to like me 10 times more. Don't be nervous. Come on, we're gonna go have fun. Watch your step. I would be lying to say that I wasn't extremely excited to have a little one-on-one -on -one time with Daisy, especially on the date we're about to go on. I got something really awesome planned for you. Daisy looks smoking hot already, and I've got in store for her a little place called Foreplay. They have nothing but super skimpy, smoking hot clothes. Nice to see you. Welcome to Foreplay. Feel free to take a look around. We know you know the place, so yes. enjoy. So me and Daisy start shopping around, and I immediately have emotional, spiritual overload and decide Daisy has got to be in the skimpiest outfits that I can pick out. Yeah, I like this one because it's like this. I one think you're pink. I love shopping. I love to dress up. Let's go. Let's do it. Hey, -o. and the anticipation is killing me. Bring it on. Oh, good God. Oh, Daisy. Yeah, that's the, that. I love the lingerie. I I wanted to explore more. I wanted to try on more outfits and just dress up and give him a little show. Do you like it? That's the question. I do. I'm thinking he's in awe. Super turned on. <laughs> Frankly, I think we were both a little hot and bothered. Oh, fuck. Oh, good God. Is there no end to Daisy's sexiness? She comes out in a third outfit. It is ha uh, with a ha uh, ha uh, and a hat. I want that to be the last vision I see. I like you. Yeah, that's... Oh, God. You're sexy. You sing. You know music. You play bass. You're tough. You're cool. It's just... It's a win-win. Win-win, win-win. He is absolutely everything that I've ever wanted, and I want to make sure that he knows that I could be a complete package for him, too. I've been in, what, three competitions? Lost all three, had five minutes with them. I'm having a heart attack. I feel helpless because I can't control the situation. It's like, no matter how hard I try, I lost again. I've lost the last two or three competitions myself. I've had one date with them, but that's not enough. I need more time. He's out on another date with Daisy. He's going on another date with the same chicks again tomorrow, and the same chicks are getting left out. I think that Catherine and I are in a similar boat. If you don't get the time and you don't get the dates, you don't get to take your relationship with Brett to a deeper level. It doesn't matter how many dates these girls have had. All I know is that I want time with Brett right now. I'm talking about here and now. That's it. Okay, keep this on. Let's have dinner. Okay. <laughs> After trying on these outfits, I could not think of a better moment to get spiritual and deep than to set that in a lingerie store and have a nice romantic dinner. So, I have a lot of questions for you. Go ahead. This is just... This is, this Go ahead. How tall are you? How tall are you? That's what I want to know. 5'10". That's cool. I'm curious. There's still, like, a million things. There's so many things that I want to know, and I just couldn't help it. I can't help it. I want to know about him. Do you like traveling? 
<laughs> no, Obviously, at this well, point in my I career, mean, yes. You know. She's asking me some questions and then a few more questions. Do you like to read? Do you like TV a lot? Do you like movies? Like All the above. A few more questions and then... Do you like surfing? Are you, are, like, what are, what are your thoughts on religiously? Like, are you in the marriage part? That's huge. Do you like to read? Let's go. I want to go back home and hang with you. Yeah. I feel that my date with Daisy went awesome. She looked incredible, and there is no doubt that there is a strong physical, sexual connection. However, a little more emotional connection would be good. I'm feeling anxious about not winning these challenges. So I go down and put a note on the door that says, I need to speak with you immediately. It is urgent. Please. So Daisy is out on her date with Brett. I'm sure he's having a miserable time. And so I decided to write him a love note to make him feel better. I go to put my very cute, nice note on my boyfriend's door, and there's this ugly, gross note on there, and the chicken scratch apparently said it was from P10. She wants to spend time with my boyfriend, and that's not happening, so I take the note and put it in my pocket, and I just threw it out. I was thinking about that note. I wanted to make sure that it didn't come across like a bunch of crazy statements. I go down to Brett's room, and lo and behold, it's not there. But someone else has a note, Megan. So the wheels start turning in my head, and I'm like, all right. So I go upstairs, and I write another note. Did you take my note off the door? What note? I put a note on there, but nothing yeah, was there. Yeah, OK. Mm -hmm. I had a note there, and then it was gone. I just was wondering. I don't know if she believes me. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Is my note there? This time, it's going right through the door on his floor because I'm not taking any more chances. Things are going to start to get sort of crazy. Crazy because uh, I put a note on his door to talk to him. Uh -huh. And I went back in there just to check it was there, and it was gone. Well, maybe Big John got it. Could be an accident, but I don't know. Something's going on. So I see the note slip between the cracks, and I naturally pull it out, just read it. The note says she really needs to talk to Brooke, which is not happening, ever. Poor Peyton has no idea what she's doing. Did you have an awesome time? I had a fabulous, fabulous time. After a date, I'm thinking I want more. I want more time with him. So I'm going to put on my cute little leopard outfit that he just bought me to show Brett that I want his attention. I'll have one drink before I go retire for the <laughs> evening. I get back in the house. The girls are all ready to party, and I'm fine with that. Let's do it. How was your date? It was awful. Just horrible. <laughs> For everyone that's not Daisy, it was horrible, all right? Yeah. Here's a fine outfit. Daisy! It's obvious to me that Brett is very attracted to Daisy. And it's hard to see sometimes. Yeah. You look great in it, though. It really looks yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Hold on. Hi. Yeah. Let's play a little Daisy. pool. Let's get a little Here. round going. Here's the deal. I make this shot. I get five minutes alone, alone with you. A pool game ensued, and I knew I needed to get alone time with him. I thought, well, if I'm going to make a shot, I'm going to get something out of the shot. Don't make it. Don't make it. <laughs> oh! Come on, hell. Five minutes. Catherine is annoying to me. She reminds me of Peggy Bundy, and like. Who the hell wants to date Peggy Bundy? Do you feel a connection with me? Because yes. I feel a connection with you. Yes. Okay. And I feel a connection with you for many reasons. One of them is, obviously, I mean, you're a physically beautiful girl. There's just something about Catherine that I need to figure out, and I don't know how to put my finger on it. Kissing Brett is dreamy. My heart goes crazy. I'm about ready to have arrhythmia. It's, it's very, very good. Can I come in? 
Yeah, baby, if you give me just one, I just gotta. Okay. Let I'm me just finish this, baby. This time, All right, bitch. I'm just waiting patiently, imagining my lovely evening with Brett, but Catherine totally ruined the whole thing. Thanks, Brett. You're I welcome. really enjoyed Did you have fun? That. Yes! Are Good. you kidding me? Like, I won't be able to sleep tonight. I'm going to bed. I'm fried. It's finally my turn, but Brett is obviously getting tired and wants to go back to his room. I'm like, Oh my God, like, did I do something wrong? Did I say something wrong? Like, did you not like, you know, me? I can't lift my knee up. Ouch. Worse. I think that's gonna leave a mark. I wake up this morning and my injuries are hurting so bad, I put everything I had in me into that game. I'm not gonna get a date with Brett, and I am so bummed out. So we pull up at the track, and I am fucking pumped. I got plans for you today. It'll be good times. Brett pulls up in a hot ass Lotus, and I'm just like, wow. <laughs> I am so excited to have you guys do this because today I'm gonna teach you to drive and let you guys haul ass Yay. in this car. Come on, <laughs> let's get you out of this stuff. There is no way these girls are getting in that car without wearing sexy racing outfits. They will be Brett Bond Ditch girls. Double O Rock. Well, hello, hello. Hi. That outfit looks I forgot. awesome Ooh, on you. Thank you. Destiny up first, and she looks smoking hot. You got it. Go. Yeah, baby. My hair's blown in the wind, and I have my sexy outfit on, and I'm totally doing everything I can to get Brett's attention. Destiny look good. Me liking yellow car. You go next. OK. You ready? Yeah. My dad taught me, if you're going to learn to drive, you're going to learn how to stick. So I have stick shift down. Can you drive a standard? I can drive a stick. That's what I have right. now. Right. You look really, really hot, though. <laughs> and that's all that matters. <laughs> Whoa! This Lotus is this fun, fast car, and it's so powerful. I was just in it, and I was having so much fun. You ready? Yes, are you ready? Because you're going to have to teach me how to drive this Come on, thing. I'll show you. Last but not least comes out Ina. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I couldn't stop staring at her chest. I'm gonna milk the fact that I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm gonna have Brett give me all the attention. All right. All right. Give it gas. Go. Oh, it's okay. I'm not giving it enough gas? Give it more gas. Okay. More gas. Oh. I'm trying to play like, oh, Brett, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> now pull the clutch. Keep giving it gas. Gas. Okay. It's Ina stalls it, and I smell clutch a burning. So I jump in, drive us back to home base. I'm thankful at this point the driving is over. I Come on, let's sit down here. <laughs> After the driving, I arrange for us to have a great lunch out on the track. I've been sober for minutes, so let's sit down and eat. We all get to sit down and talk a little bit about life and a little bit about the other girls. Catherine is a mystery. The one that I that I think is really innocent and cute is um, Jessica. Jessica is innocent and she cute. She wants to talk to you so bad. I don't think she has a malicious bone in her body. This show isn't so, or what we're doing isn't bad. I think it brings out the best and worst of us. You don't have time to put the face of the stranger on too long here. Someone's going to call you out. You know what I mean? They're going to be like, you know, you're not like that. You're a fucking liar. I heard you on the phone. You know what I'm getting at? Right. Talking to the ex-boyfriend. My ex-husband, Jeff and I, like, we, we have to email each other. That's why it's been hard, because every time we talk, it's just out of As a girl, how do you deal with that? Oh, I had a restraining order on Jeff, and then I had a restraining order on Howie. <laughs> Christy Joe has restraining orders against two of her ex-husbands, or an ex-husband and a current husband. And uh, a little bit of a red flag right there. You have to be able to take care of that stuff, because it'll always make everything half-assed. Yeah. It will never fully love the new guy. You'll never fully let go of the old guy. You'll never, meaning regardless of how it is, you eventually got to be able to say that relationship is great, but it's gone. Right? So it takes time to get over that shit. Oh, right. I got you. I'm trying to be very real and honest, like an open book with Brett, so that he, he gets me and he knows that I'm here for the right reason. 
and I hope he sees that. All right, we ready to go here in a minute? Yeah. Yep. Overall, I had a great time with the girls at the racetrack, but now it's time to head back to the house and see what the other ladies are doing. Are you okay? Yeah, I just, uh, I, you know, I want to get to one-on-one. -on -one. I am waiting to see Brett. I'm feeling nervous because although I know that Brett likes me, is that enough to keep me? I feel like I'm missing the boat. I'll let you collect your thoughts. <laughs> Welcome home. Thank you very much. And Peyton, we gotta talk. And Peyton has only been on one date, and it was a group date, and it was quite a while ago. I want to talk to her about it, so I took her back to my room. How are you doing? What's wrong? I just have... <laughs> I walk in, and the minute I sit down with Brett, I cannot contain my emotions, because there is so much inside of me that I want to say, and it's so little time, that it's just making me feel at, at ends. Are, are you attracted to me? Don't take this wrong, okay. please. I will try not to let myself cross the friendship rock out buddy card where it becomes right. more of that right. than a physical relationship or else we become friends right. who occasionally fuck. I like Peyton as a human being, but I'm not so sure that right now we're not on the friendship level. I better get ready. Okay, thank I'm glad you. we got to talk. Thank you. Here it is, time for another elimination. I hate doing these. This is gonna be a tough decision for me. I've not been winning any competitions, so I'm extremely nervous about elimination tonight. I'm one of two girls that have not had a date yet, so I'm very nervous. Me and Brett have a mental, like, Superman psychological connection. I haven't had a date because I've lost the two last challenges, and I'm just needing to connect with him on a deeper level. Well, everybody, I want to thank you. You look absolutely beautiful tonight and scarred, <laughs> which I love. Very much a turn on, as you can tell by now, right? Anyway, in the elimination that we got tonight, I'm going to have to make a very, very difficult decision. Without a doubt, there is a lot of different personalities in this house right now, and I'm feeling very confused on which direction to go. This first one, She's really put on a valiant effort. Definitely the MVP of her team, if her team would have won. Amber, would you come down here, please? Amber, would you stay here in this house and continue to rock my world? Absolutely. I got the first pass. I am so excited and touched that he feels the connection, too. This girl did a hell of a job yesterday during the Mud Bowl. I thought a really, really great effort. And today on the racetrack, did an awesome job. Destiny, would you come down here, please? Would you continue to stay here and continue to rock my world? Yes. This next girl, without a doubt, made a great effort. I think that is really starting to come around. There's still a few things about this girl that I would like to dive into her head and find out about. Chrissy Joe, would you come down here, please? Would you continue to stay in this house, play football, continue to rock my world? Yes. I am so relieved when I get a pass because now I'm like, OK, maybe he gets me. But yet, I can definitely read it on these girls' faces that they are just disgusted that I'm here. And quite frankly, it makes me happy. I'm standing there, but I still haven't gotten my pass. If Brett does not give me a pass tonight, I'm going to regret not getting enough time with him. This next girl sent me one of the nicest letters ever. I know, know that she's making an effort. In fact, she was the only girl who put this letter on my door, and it meant a lot to me. Megan, would you come down here, please? What the fuck is going on? At that point, I realized that, I mean, I might, you know, have to rip somebody new asshole. <laughs> he wants to date me, not my grandmother. Ha <laughs> ha. This next girl is probably not going to win any NASCAR races soon. Ina, would you stay here in this house and continue to rock my world? I'd love to. 
Jessica, would you come down here, please? Would you continue to stay in this house and rock my world? You know it. Next pass. So I'm down to three girls, and it's really weighing heavy on my mind because I feel very close to all these girls right now. This girl came into my room tonight and talked to me and, and broke through, and I felt close, and they gave me a lot of reason in my mind to keep her here and give her at least another chance. Catherine, would you come down here, please? When Brett calls my name, I don't even know what he said before my name. All I know is, thank God. Would you continue to stay here in this house? Quite possibly in that dress <laughs> and rock my world. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Catherine had begged and pleaded to keep her in the house. And you know what? I have not had one date with her yet, at least not a good solo date. And I need to do that to know if she's right for me. I've got two very beautiful girls here and one really difficult decision I gotta make. I haven't gotten my pass, and I'm thinking, what is going on? This is really freaking me out right now. The pressure is getting to me. Obviously, you know, I care about both you a lot to get this far ahead. What the hell? I don't understand. I mean, like, what's going on? I'm, like, freaking out. You know, I'm like, I can't, there's no way. I'm emotionally attached to both you. We're down to Daisy and Peyton. I know Daisy kicked ass at the Mud Bowl, and I know Peyton is an absolutely great soul. And I know what I'm feeling, and it's about to come down. Brett's got one pass left, and it's down to me and Daisy. It's too soon. I'm on the verge of tears. I don't want to go. I want another chance. I don't understand. I mean, like, I'm freaking out. I'm shaking. I'm about ready to pass out. I can't even handle it. I'm emotionally attached to both you. Peyton, would you come down here, please? I don't understand. What did I do wrong? Do you feel that we've made some kind of connection? That if I felt that we should continue and try to see if there's something more, I would keep you here? Yes. Well, I want to keep you here, and I want you to continue to rock my world. All right? Absolutely. Yeah! I get one more chance, and I'm so excited. Bye-bye, Daisy. Bye-bye. Daisy, would you come here, please? He gives Peyton a pass, and I'm, I'm done. Like, I've just been sent home. You look absolutely beautiful tonight, all right? And we have never done this before. But I want to say this the best so everyone can hear it. This girl made such an effort, and that's all I can ask you to do. And I know it goes against everything that I'm supposed to do, but I saved the best for last night, and I want to keep you here in this house. It felt so good to bring Daisy down in front of all the girls and reward her. I saved the best for last. John, do you have a pass? Will you stay here and rock my world? Forever and ever and ever. <laughs> all right, you got it. I know that I broke all the rules by keeping every single one of these girls, but I gotta tell you something, I could not let any of them go. I felt I'd done the right thing by giving all the girls a second chance. I need to spend some more time with them. To everybody, I just wanna say, make an effort, win the challenges, go on dates, and let's find each other, and let's see if we can shake something out of it. And if you're not here for it, I'm gonna weed you out real quick because I got a really difficult decision to make now. Because the next elimination we do, two of you are going home. It scares me that two girls go home next time because it leaves the door wide open to any mistake. Come on down, let's get some brew. John, you grab us some beers. I just went from the most scared I've ever been to the most happy I've ever been. And I'm definitely gonna step it up 10 times more because I do not ever, ever want that feeling ever again. To all of us, you ready to stay here and rock this world? Hell yeah! <laughs> Did you get it in the face? <laughs> He's like, I'm not slowing down. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep going. Hello. Hey. Hello. Nice. I got plans for you today. It'll be good times. Yay. <laughs> that stick shift? All yeah, right. Sounded like a... yeah. Come over. Come over to me. <laughs> I can't get out of the small car. 